Man, I got some good news for you guys today. I know whoever's watching this video wants complete freedom. And I'm talking freedom, freedom. I'm talking if you even have an inkling of a shackle of your life, any sort of weight on your shoulders, you're going to want to listen to this message. Check it out. In the bride of Christ, the body, the church, the Christians, we think that we have freedom, but we have bondage and we call it freedom. And let me tell you why. Sometimes we hear a message at church and it gives us goosebumps on our back. And we go, oh, that must be deliverance. I'm free. I've got salvation. But the enemy is a pro at hide and go seek. What he does is he hides while you don't confront him. You don't acknowledge him. You think that you're free from pornography. You think you're free from alcohol. You think you're free from popping those pills. You think you're free from gossip. You think you're free from anger, resentment, whatever you're going through. You think you're free. And you can be a Christian your entire life. And it's like a yo-yo effect. The second you put your guard down and think, hey, I'm good. It's like a chink in your armor. And the enemy comes in and penetrates and he manifests himself in your life and you no longer have freedom. And then you're a stressed out, anxious Christian going, I don't know what's going on. But I'll tell you this right now. God only has one spirit. It's a spirit of power, love, and sound mind. Any other spirit you're operating in is not of God. If you're operating in anxiety or nervousness or, or fear, not of God. So there is freedom God wants, wants you to have. And you want to know how you get it? By confessing your sins. And John, he says that if you confess your sins to the Father, he is faithful to forgive you. And he will purify you of un all, or he's just and will purify you of all unrighteousness. And you will find freedom. In Acts, it says, if you repent of your sins, you will find refreshment for your soul in the presence of the Lord. In 2 Corinthians, it says, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. There is freedom for you. But it's got to be in the spirit and the, the power of the Holy Spirit. It can't be done out of your own wanting. It has to be in a moment by moment awareness that we are sinners in need of a savior. If we live in a moment by moment awareness of God, I need you. I can't do this without you. You confess your shortcomings to him. You'll be continually being cleansed and washed with God's white goodness. You'll be washed with his Holy Spirit and you will find freedom. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Confess your sins before the Lord today and you will find deliverance. Deliverance was the first thing that Jesus did in his ministry. First thing he did. And that's what sets the tone for any minister is the first thing they do. Deliverance. Deliverance is God's fingerprint on your life. His touch on your life. Deliverance is salvation. Deliverance is death to life. Darkness to light. It is, it is lies to truth. And it is slavery to freedom. God wants to deliver you today into his loving arms by his grace, by his lavishing grace. He loves you more than comprehension, but it is your choice if you want to choose slavery or freedom. It is up to you today to own your sins, own your shortcomings, fall to your knees, Look to God and go, I am a wretched man. I My righteous deeds are filthy rags before you. I've done nothing out of my own adequacy. It's because of you, Lord, that I have anything at all. You have my life. Have my way. If you're not in it, I don't want it, God. I just want you. God bless.